So first of all, thank you and uh, thank you very much for coming to our, our new building. Uh, we've actually been in the building for a couple of months, kind of settling everything down, but we wanted to wait a little while before we invited people to come over and check it out. And uh, so let me welcome you to our, our new home. And I just want to tell you a little bit about Douglas Do and about what we do and about the building and so on, and then uh, then, we'll, and then I'm done. So it only takes five minutes. So, so we are, a, I, I think many of you know, we are a software company. We make enterprise middleware. And we compete with uh, all the software companies in the world pretty much. Uh, everybody from IBM, Oracle, down to uh, hundreds of other companies. And our plan is to beat all of them and become the number one middleware company in the world. And so, so we are a, uh, we have a kind of an unusual objective. Uh, and we, we operate in a very different way. Uh, and, uh, and our building is kind of a reflection of that. Uh, in the, by different way, I mean we don't, uh, the, the, we compete in a very knowledge intensive, very innovation driven, very creative environment. So we also have to operate in the same way and execute in a way that is we are able to generate more innovation, more creativity, and faster execution than anybody else. Right? So we compete with all kinds of people who have far more resources than we do, but yet we can beat them. And we beat them by having incredible people who, who drive that forward. Right? So, so some, uh, we've taken a lot of investments, so sometimes investors ask, what's, you know, what, what's the thing I'm investing in? And really it's just the people. Because if all the people quit, there's no assets in the company. Everything we do is given away freely. Our software is 100% open source. So it's just the people that really that we build. So the work environment is very, very important for that because in order to create a workforce that is able to compete globally and beat everybody else and want to do that and enjoy doing that, it's a, you need to have a certain kind of environment. So the objective that we have is to create a, a model where people can think out of the box, act out of the box, work at their own pace in their own environment, and at the same time, deliver a lot of a lot of results. So, uh, don't get me wrong. This is not an easy place to work. If you work here, you know we work like crazy. We work very very hard. But at the same time, we, we play hard. Just so a work hard, play hard kind of model. Uh, I, uh, if you go up to the roof, you'll see we have a basketball court and a gym. That's to encourage you to play uh, physically play as well because if you just eat and sleep and stuff, it's not good. And and we we have a model where we people kind of work on their own time. Uh, we don't have fixed hours. We don't count meals. It's, it's, a, it's a model that encourages people to execute at their own way and yet work pretty much you know, intellectually be committed to what they're doing all the time. Right? And that's what it takes to, to be competitive in the marketplace that we operate. So it's very, very important that we do that. So uh, this building was, was uh, is not ours, it's a rented building. We, we rented it and, and the entire interior was done by us to meet what we want to achieve. So if you, are, if you have time, there, there are a bunch of people hanging around wearing this WS2 crew badge. They, they, they can give you a tour, uh, starting from the top, I think, and walking down, you will probably easiest to do it. And they'll kind of tell you a little bit about each floor. Each floor has a different theme that we've done, and each floor has a different uh, color scheme and all kinds of stuff, so we're designed to, uh, to kind of focus on what that flow is about. Right? And, and you'll get a sense of what, you know, all the things as you, as you go through the building. And this fish tank uh, uh, is slightly latest. Uh, Apologize for the last minute thing, but it's been a long project to get this up and running, and, and we're still not in the final shape yet, but it's getting there. And this is also part of our uh, environment. And here, actually, there is a, a permanent music system this, this, uh, that we have for our own people to play stuff, and, and we have a very creative pro, so uh, they, 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 they play all kinds of stuff and sing. I'm, I'm not allowed to sing, which is a good thing. Uh, so that's all I wanted to say, so thank you very much once again, and I hope you get a chance to walk around and get a few for things. There's a bunch of food behind that glass thing. So this area is our sort of uh, sit down and, and you know do stuff and whatever. There's a table tennis table, foosball table, and a pool table upstairs, another foosball table, some game room, gaming session, and some TVs and so forth. And the others, the back part is where people eat basically. And we have lunch served there usually. And, and there's a bunch of snacks and stuff we recommend. And then each floor has a different stuff. All right. So thank you very much for coming once again. I hope you enjoy the evening. And uh, do take a tour and get a few for the place. Thank you.